my YouTube friends. Thanks for joining in tonight. Man, we got a lot of great things going on, man. Oh, man. Thank you guys for joining in tonight for the Audio Master Midnight Special. Oh, man. I just wanted to get on here because we had a little extra time, man. And I wanted to get on here and hang out with you, man. And uh, so many cool things to talk about. And uh, it all has to do with that dope attitude, man, at midnight. Oh, I hope you guys got that dope attitude going on, man. <laughs> I want to tell you, man, when I first heard that uh, that lingo thing, the dope, man, that's so dope. That's so dope. I was like, man, what is that? You know, are they really, are they seriously talking about dope? <laughs> but no, man, it has nothing to do with dope. It just has to do with about your attitude, man, right? It's all about attitude with anything that we do. You guys know that, man. It's all about that energy that we produce when we do things, when we get out and we associate with other people and we start letting down our hair, man, and <clears throat> pumping it up, man. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. It's all about an attitude. And do you have a good attitude whenever you get in your recording studio and crank up your gear, man, and start letting it rip? Ah, oh, yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, man. Um, you can have a bad attitude, man. If you if you start your day with a bad attitude, man, and you don't have that dope attitude, it is going to affect everything you do, man. Even the people around you, even the people that work with you are going to know, man, you're not set off in a good attitude and a good mood. And they just don't want to be around you, man. They don't want to be around you. They don't want to have to deal with your problems or what you're going through, man. So, look, I wanted to say this. Number one, man, it's all about having that dope attitude, man, and bringing that dope attitude to the table. Ah, you know what I'm talking about, man. It's all about an attitude. So, man, we got a lot of great things going on here at the Audio Master Show. I reiterate that every time I get on, man, because we got it going on. But I wanted to say this. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, right down snare, like a snare drum, wrap it up on that baby man, and also step up there and <clears throat> slam that ball, that bell out the park, and get your grand slam tonight on the Audio Master Show Midnight Special. Man, we got it going on, man. I wanted to say this. I'm so pumped up and fired up. I wanted to share this with you guys, man. I got a Korg keyboard coming in, man. I am so stoked to be able to work with this Korg uh, synthesizer. It is going to be really, really cool to add to my arsenal and actually be able to get in here and do some recording, man. I've been over there the whole night, man, doing some stuff on the piano, writing some stuff on the piano. I'm so excited about that, man. It's just really, really kind of cool how everything can come together when you get in your studio and it quietens down at night, man. And you got everything to yourself, man. You know what I'm talking about? You hold the world in your hands, right? And that's what I'm talking about. Getting in that dope attitude to where nothing can stop you, man. In your songwriting, in your music ability, getting behind the board and creating those great mixes, man. Where you just make everything fit in the mix just right. And you step out of the room. And no matter where you go in your house or your studio... And you're listening to that music, man. And you're going, yes, everything is perfect, man. And it all has to do with the attitude, man. If it's not working, tear it all down and start fresh, man. <clears throat> I can't tell you how many times I've done that. I've actually tracked music, put it all down there, man. It sounded great, just the way it was tracked on. And I go to start adding some different things and start, start getting a little crazy and whatnot. And before you know it, man, uh, it's like, where I started was, was sounded way better than where I'm at. So, man, I've had to tear it down. Don't be afraid to tear it down. I just want to tell you, man, tear it down. Start over. Start fresh with a different approach. Man, it can help your day. It can help anything that you're doing, man. Just laugh about it. Have a good time and say, you know what? Hey, you slipped and fell, man, and laugh about it. Get up, brush your pants off, man. Start over, laugh about it, and just be, uh, just, you know, don't let that affect your day, man. That's what I'm saying. Don't let it affect your day. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. It's carrying that dope attitude. That attitude of, you know what, man, my day is going to be great. 
I'm going to bring my day everywhere I go, and it's going to be a great day. And I'm going to share that day with other people who surround me and watch it grow, man. I'm telling you, you're going to bring in people. Uh, you're going to have friends that you didn't even know that you were friends. I'm going to tell you this before we get going, because tonight's going to be really about just talking about variety, different things, hanging out on the Audio Master Show, man, here at midnight, man, because we got it going on. But I was in I was in the store the other day. Actually, I was in one of those water stores where you can go in and buy the high, um, I don't know, what is it, alkaline water or whatever. And uh, I was in one of those stores like that. And I'm in there talking to the girl that's, uh, over, you know, behind the counter and whatnot. We're having a good time. We're associating. She's telling me about, you know, what they've been doing. I was telling her about what I've been doing. She's like, well, it's such a beautiful day. Why aren't you down at the beach? And da, 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 da. We're just having a great time, man. And another gentleman walks in and just starts. He's kind of meandering around. He's looking around the store like it's his first time there. He's over here in our conversation. He's hearing how great the conversation's going, man. And he just has to come in and join, man. It's like the vibes that we were producing, the vibes that we were sending out into the world, this energy, man. He was like, man, I got to be a part of this and I got to join because they got it going on, man. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm like, okay, man, come on in, man. Uh, you know, uh, she's not, uh, she's, uh, we're just having a good time, right? We're just having a good time. It's not like I want to take her out or anything. We're just having a good time, man. And uh, he could see that. He could feel that. And it's that aura, it's those vibes that we send out into the world, man, that just never, never, never ceases to stop, man. And that's what I want to share with you guys tonight. How to stay in that dope vibe, how to get up in the mornings and feel great about your day and everything you do. And here's what I really want to say, man, for us who, who write, I love writing music. And maybe I'm reaching out to a few of you who like to write songs. And if you're one of those who likes to write songs, man, I'm telling you, it's about the mood. It's about it's about the feeling. It's about expressing yourself. And it's about, um, you know, being in that dope vibe to write those songs, man. You can't just start a song and just be in a blah mood, right? How do you do that? How do you do that? No, man, you got to be thinking about a situation that you're in. You're thinking about a story. You're thinking about something that was... Uh, more more so than catchy phrases. You know, you want to stay away from that cliche stuff, so to speak. And real songwriters write about stories, about things, about that's happening in their life, and they can share that in a way and express that in a way that the, the, the listener uh, knows exactly what they're talking about, and the listener feels like that they're singing the song for them to be listening to, right, at that time in their life. That's the way we want to write music. And here's the thing, man. When we're in that dope vibe, when we're in that dope attitude, when we're in that midnight attitude of dopeness, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? That feeling of bliss, when you're in that attitude, it shows in everything you do, man. And that's where we want to be in our life, in every step in our walk, in our life. Uh, and if we're in a bad mood, tear it down, man. Tear it down and say, you know what? I'm going to brush my pants off this morning. It didn't start out right. I didn't get the call, phone call I was wanting. I got the phone call I didn't want, but that's okay. We're going to iron it out, and I'm going to tear it all down, and we're going to start over, man. Just the way we start over in a mix. Just the way we start over with a line that doesn't work and a phrase that we're using in a song. Nah, that's not working. That's not working. We're going to erase that, or I'll leave it down here along with many more lines that I'm going to write. And then I'll pick and choose between these five different lines that I'm going to actually put on my second line in the second verse. Right? So that's what we do. We get, we get it going on. Our first, our first draft will be several different drafts as to how we're writing, but we don't completely erase it. We leave some of those lines in there because we might want to pick and choose how we want to word the next line. And so it might be something that we want to keep there and save on the first draft. Ah, I'm just telling you, man, this is how it works, man. So then you get, after you get your first verse worked out, then it kind of tells the story. Well, what next? Tell me a little bit more, man. Where are you going with this story? Tell me a little bit more that I need to hear and add something to the pie. 
Oh, man, we're talking about some great things for us songwriters who like to write music, man. So don't throw away all that scratch pad. And don't erase what you already came up with because it's there for a reason. You were feeling it. It might be a step, a stepping stone for the line that you really need, right? So don't, don't erase it. Keep it on that first draft. Just jot it down there. Sing another line, jot it down there. Sing another line, jot it down there. And then pick and choose actually which one that you want to use and actually conveys the message of where you want the song to build and go and tell the story. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. Having that dope attitude. Don't we all want that dope attitude? Hey, I'm not talking about that that messed up attitude. I'm talking about that killer attitude because, like I say, when I first heard that expression, I was like, well, I just hear everybody saying like, oh, man, that's dope. Oh, that's dope. No, that's dope, man. And I was thinking, man, what's so big deal about the dope? <laughs> but that's what it is, man. It's something great. It's something, it's, uh, it's something, it's a phrase. It's how everyone is expressing themselves as to what's good, man. If it's good, it's dope, right? So anyway, um, the attitude. It's all about the attitude, how we express ourselves in our songwriting, how we express ourselves musically, how we phrase different guitar licks, how we phrase different musical lyrics in our writing when we're singing, how we phrase things makes all the difference in, uh, in our delivery, right? So whenever I was uh, playing a song for a friend of mine, he came over the other night, man. I said, hey, Russell, man, you want to hear this song I just wrote? He said, sure. I said, man, well, don't judge it too much because I'm still in the writing stage and I'm not to the point where I know it, you know, right off my mind and I have to look at the lyric sheet, right? And so the phrasing might not be all the way down yet, but hey, man, I'm going to play it for you because I feel like it. And he's like, he laughed. He said, go ahead and play it, man. So I got my guitar, man, I actually tuned it to an open G tuning started ripping out the chords and whatnot, a little intro to it, and then broke right into the song, started singing the song. And he told me, he says, man, dude, I haven't heard music phrased like that in a way that was so compelling. It felt good hearing music like that again. And I was, I was like, thanks, Russell, man. That, that made me really feel good because I was at the point where I still hadn't figured out how I wanted to do it, but I was expressing myself in a, in a, honest way and it was compelling enough and believable enough that he enjoyed it man he really enjoyed it and so that's the way we gotta that's the way we gotta approach our music we gotta be able to approach our music and our songwriting to where we know it well enough from heart to where any given day or any different time of day how we're feeling we can express those lyrics in a certain kind of way and deliver it in that in that vibe that we're in that's believable and conveying. Ah, oh, you know the deal, man. We hold the world in our hands, man. It's just about finding it, finding that, that, that we can hold the world in our hands and we can choose any direction in life uh, that we choose to be. Because here's the thing. The power is within each and every one of us. Okay. The power is in with each and every one of us. Okay, and uh, I hope I get some hands up on this deal, man, because it's so true that uh, we are so gifted in so many ways. Even the ones that um, that are handicapped in some in the, in the in the way that we see them physically, they might be physically handicapped or they can't maneuver around in a certain way, and they have to be in a wheelchair or whatever. Even these people are gifted, and they find a way to show us all who can maneuver around just fine how gifted they are in some kind of way, right? And so uh, I just want to express that to you because that's the power that's in within each and every single one of us. We just need to be able to tap into that power and realize that we're all gifted in the most abundant ways that's unimaginable, even unfathomable, and so I want to share that with you guys. It's all get in that dope attitude. Get in that dope attitude of greatness. 
and be the best you can be at everything you do, man, and tap into that bliss of what your greatness is, man. Okay, and I want to share that because I want to encourage you tonight, man. This is the Audio Master Show. This is what I do. If you're just now joining in, that's what I do. I encourage each and every one of you that we are all great and we can do great things. We just have to believe, man. We have to get in our studio. We have to tell everyone else out there, hey, man, I'm going to my recording studio and I'm going to start writing a song tonight. So kids, don't bother me. I'm shutting the door. Mom, don't bother me. I'm shutting the door. I'm getting some me time because this is what I need to do. This is my gift, and I need to get in here and start writing some good music, right? And if I'm just a writer, I'm going to write some music, and I'm going to find the artist out there who can deliver it the way that I can hear them or the way that I want them. And they would share that music. And then hopefully, man, we've got some new hits and, and get away from this cookie because cookie cutter stuff this this music that they've been playing on the radio for i don't know the past 10 15 years just completely sucks excuse me but it's not that dope attitude the attitude it is is just like how many how many of these songs can we just have one person write and put out there and let the marketing man sell Ugh! man i just i'm i'm waiting for real artists like you Yes, I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to you because you're a real artist, man. And I want to encourage you to get in your studio and write some music, man. And uh, if you're, if you, you know, you know somebody who's a better singer than you, hand the ball off to them, man. And you two both put together something beautiful so we can get some new music out on the radio. I've been writing some really stuff. I've been really creative with a lot of stuff that I've been doing lately, man. And uh, cannot wait to get the synthesizer in just simply because I want to do an album derived and built around this cork synthesizer, man. So it is going to be the backbone and the meat of my tracks, man. And I'm not sure which direction it's going to go. It may be going to some type of uh, film production thing or it may lead to just whatever. I'm going in it free spirit. I'm going in it wide open with an open mind to whatever I do and uh, and just have a good time. It's really about having a good time at what we do so that we can stay in that dope, dope attitude, man. That's the attitude we want to bring around with us when we go to work. It's the attitude we want to have when we go to bed. It's the attitude when we wake up. And it will, it will move mountains for us and it will get us past those dark days that seem too hard to overcome, man. So what do we do to stay in the dope attitude? Think about it. What do we do to stay in the dope attitude? No, nah, man, it ain't getting all messed up. Come on, man. It ain't about all getting all... <laughs> it's about being in an attitude to where you're just completely surrounded with greatness, man, in everything you do. And if it's not great, tear it down, start over, or just completely surround yourself in, in the presence of people with that same dope attitude, man. That's what I'm talking about, greatness, man. We want to be great at everything we do, right? We don't want to just halfway do it or why even do it. Uh, you know, you just, um, but here's the thing. We all have that greatness and I'll reiterate it again. We all have that greatness. And for those of you who have not found that, maybe you're just now starting out in the recording studio. Maybe you're just now starting out with, on your guitar. Maybe you're just kind of fumbling around with the guitar and you're not really sure if that's the instrument you want to master. Perhaps you've been playing piano for 10 years and you want to learn the guitar now. Most pianists that I know uh, master the piano and say, I want to learn guitar. I can do more on the guitar than I can on the piano. And most of them do. And so, um, <clears throat> you know, it doesn't really matter what you do, uh, whether you play the guitar or whether you play the piano or whether you play the French horn or whether you play the trumpet, it doesn't or the cello, you know, or the violin. It doesn't matter what you play as an instrument. Just do it with greatness. Do it with all your heart, man, and surround yourself and your mind with that dope attitude. Thank you guys for joining in tonight. We are 
the audio master show and we come do the midnight special on Saturday nights. Had to come in here a little early tonight because we got a lot of great things going on and um, a lot of cool things going on outside. I had some friends come over, man. They're hanging out and whatnot earlier and uh, just uh, kind of changed my schedule up a little bit. Got to spend some time with my brother and uh, we went out and had a great steak, laughed a lot tonight, had a really good time spending time with him tonight. And we talked about many, many different things and how things, how life can just pass us by. And da, 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 da. We laughed and uh, just had a good time together, man. And sometimes that's great to do uh, is spend time with your family and um, because you just never know, right? So um, anyway, we had a great time. And when I got back, I was able to get in the studio and actually play on my piano a while, get some great sound effects that I got going over here on my uh, TC Hellcon that I'm just now breaking into and being able to enjoy. I haven't got into the parameters of it just yet, but uh, I actually set up a little ping pong delay on it and was uh, riding around that delay, which is really kind of cool. Just a subtle delay going back and forth and uh, got a chance to play on it. And it was like, oh man, it's getting close to midnight. And then I've got to do all my tags and all the other stuff. So I'll just give them a bonus tonight. We'll come on a little early, uh, earlier than midnight. So we're approaching midnight. Hmm, I've got 11.56 here right now. So I said, well, we'll just come on a little early, hang out a little bit at midnight, man. And for those that come on, we can, uh, we can talk about new things and talk about great things. And remember, we hold the world in our hand, man. And, um... Everything is right at our fingertips. Everything is with inside each and every one of us already. And we are gifted uh, with all this power and knowledge and this dope attitude that's already in us, man. And I just want to say, man, express yourself in ways uh, that can be conveying to many of us who love writing music, who love playing music. I wanted to say this, man. If you're not in a band and you just really like to be solo, that's totally fine totally cool uh you can come up with many things on your own but here's the thing man if you feel like you need to pass the ball you know go ahead and pass that ball because there could be somebody out there who would love to sing your song there could be someone out there who's just a singer who doesn't have the music to actually um sing a song to, but they sing exceptionally great so here's the thing i wanted to tell each and every one of you if you're just joining in we have a Audio Master Facebook group. And you go to your Facebook and you go to the group section. And you click on that group section. Then you type in Audio Master. Okay? Audio Master. And it'll notify me as to you're wanting to join the group. Man, when I see that, uh, I'm going to pull you aboard the ship, man. Come hang out with us, man, and post your music there. Post your stuff, whether you play piano or whatever. You're looking for a singer. We have music producers. We have engineers. And we have songwriters and different people from every aspect of life joining the group. And so perhaps you might meet your singer there who will take on the project that you have uh, started. And uh, you guys can collaborate. So it's a great little hub for all of us to collaborate. So join the Facebook group, Audio Master. We want to see you there. That's one great thing I had to share with you before uh, we move on further on tonight into the midnight special, man. Um, so yeah, we got a lot of great things going on. I'm hoping that either Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, I am going to be receiving, um, I'm going to be receiving the Korg, um, synthesizer what's cool about this korg synthesizer is it's an analog synth all these sounds that was done in the 70s that pink floyd used some of these other great bands used um you know uh they're using these are presets and so it's going to be nice going into these presets and actually doing some great stuff on my uh, so it's midnight now so Welcome to uh, the Midnight Special Show, Audio Master Show. Thank you guys for joining in. For those of you who are just joining in, we try to do the uh, uh, the Midnight Special Audio Master Show on the weekends, excuse me, and that's Saturday night on the weekends. 
we usually try to come in at midnight. For those of you who are night owls like me, who like to stay up late, man, and flap your wings in the studio and shred your guitar, man. That's right, shred it. And so uh, we like to get in the studio late at night. I'm going to be sharing some great stuff that I'm that I'm doing with you guys. You know, I've just been building this show, building the audio, you know, answered a lot of tons of questions lately, uh, especially on my messenger. So those of you who have joined the Facebook group love to send me messages during the day. And I'm totally, totally, totally cool with that. It gives us all a chance to stay in touch with one another and to. So I've been getting a lot of people writing in, hey, Audio Master, what are you going to talk about tonight? Hey, Audio Master, I'm thinking about buying a set of monitors. What kind of monitors, you know, what would you do for your first set of monitors? Or what would you buy for your first doll? So I'm getting all kind of great questions people are writing in because there's a lot of, um, you know, people just starting out and everyone needs a hand as far as, hey, what are you using? What kind of gear do you have in your studio? What have you had any luck with? What haven't you had any luck with? And these are these are real questions that many of us have, especially when we're just starting out, because um, a lot of people just don't know, right? So it's kind of neat to have, uh, you know, someone or someplace you can go that can answer these questions. And hey, look, if I don't know them all, because I don't know everything, but I know a lot, and so uh, if I don't have know the question, I'm just a phone call away from some experienced um, top end engineers that's you know um, that tour around the world and everything else. So it won't be hard being able to answer any of your audio uh, questions that you might have in your studio about recording or tracking or mixing. So anyway, it's it's really nice to be able to. Um, have the Audio Master Show to be able to come on here, hang out with you guys, and talk about those cool little things and those cool little subjects. But here's the thing. I wanted to say this before I forget. So if the synthesizer comes in Tuesday or Wednesday, you don't want to miss out on that show because as soon as it comes in, y'all, I'm going to be doing uh, an unboxing on that. And everybody loves unboxing. Here's the thing about unboxing. You actually get to see what the heck they ship and how they pack it and, uh, you know, what comes with it, what's not in it. Uh, and I love doing the unboxing because everybody likes to see new gear roll in, man. So if it comes in Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm hoping it'll come in Tuesday or Wednesday. And if it does come in, I don't know what the heck, but if it does come in Tuesday or Wednesday, we're going to be doing an unboxing on it. And I'll probably do a live unboxing to where I'm actually setting it up too, because I'm actually going to have it right here in front of me. And I made this special little table that was actually out of a bench or actually out of the, um, oh, what do you call that? Uh, it was the shelf. It was one shelf out of a, a big safe. So the safe was, uh, I don't know how long, maybe 48 inches long. So I, I took the shelf out of there. I didn't need it. And, uh, and it's got carpet on it already. So I took the shelf and actually draped it across this, this other uh, stand. And so it made my table quite longer that sits in front of me. So I've got my computer, which you see in front, uh, that's actually filming me now. I got my Mac on it and in front of the Mac, there's enough room. I don't know exactly the dimensions, but I want to say there's probably 24 inches from the computer to the edge of um, my table here. And then probably about 25 inches wide. So it's about this wide. And I've got about that, that far, you know, depth to work with. So I'll be able to put the keyboard here in front of me. Okay. So I'll be able to put the synth here. And I'll be able to do all the stuff right here in real time. So you guys are going to be seeing me moving knobs, turning, um, you know, different things on and off. And uh, it's going to be LFO stuff and all kind of cool stuff. Effects are going to be going on. I'm going to be playing the plan. It's going to be really, really cool. And I'm so stoked about it because you'll be able to see it right here. You know, excuse me. So my fingers will be here. 
you'll be able to see my fingers moving across the strings, which is really kind of cool. And then, uh, so it'll be real time stuff that's going on. And it'd be nice that you guys can actually hear the music as we're playing. And, uh, I don't know, man, it's just gonna be really kind of cool. And I don't know, like I say, what kind of direction I'm gonna go with it as far as, you know, production movie stuff, or if it's just going to be, you know, song stuff, but we will start the show out using that. So here's the thing, man. If it comes in Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm going to be doing the unboxing on it, man. You don't want to miss out. Like I say, everybody loves to watch unboxing stuff. It just kind of gives uh, you guys the idea of what you're going to get when you do purchase something. I know I like to watch unboxings, man, because a lot of times it's just the idea of pulling something new out of the box, how they pack it and whatnot. So it's going to be really kind of cool having that come in, man. So if it comes in Tuesday, we're going to be doing an unboxing Tuesday night. If it doesn't come in Tuesday, if it comes in Wednesday, we're going to be doing an unboxing that night. So you guys want to hang out with me, stick around for some cool stuff, man. But yeah, we've been doing a lot of great stuff. And that, that next album is going to be derived around that Korg synthesizer. And I'm just stoked about it, man. And, uh, you know, I've been staying in that dope attitude, man. That midnight dope attitude, man. This is going to make it a lot of fun, actually, um, breaking that baby open and just, you know, getting into it and starting to do some really, really cool work with it. You know, it's one thing to actually get on your piano and play piano music and then it's another thing it's a completely different animal man when you get in there and you got your you got your strings happening and you can get in there man and just start you know doing all this stuff and get into the parameters of it and get into all these different sounds and uh like i say man it's just a different animal uh playing on the synthesizer than it is you know your standard keyboard or your standard piano man because you've got all these different sounds that they actually do a lot of movie production stuff with so you know i was watching this video the other night i don't know if i already talked about this but i was watching this video and this dude was actually um doing the soundtrack to these horror movies and whatnot and he was showing how he did it and just real simple three uh finger type stuff on this synthesizer uh three notes three note kind of real eerie sound and stuff and then taking his electric guitar and doing these little bends that are over the over the nut of the uh, guitar itself and then adding all these other effects to the simple things that he did you wouldn't believe man how it took just a simple sound of something and made it sound so eerie man and so he had all these different tracks going he must have had 15 or 20 different tracks but as the timeline scrolled across, you know, different things would come in at different times. There were some parts that felt, sounded like somebody scratching on the doors and some parts sounded like just, you know, pings going off and uh, someone like, you know, chopping through. a. But with all these sound effects, man, it just sounded totally cool. And I was like, oh, man, I can hear it. I can see it. I can see that in a scary movie. I can hear all that in a scary movie, you know. And so it kind of got me pumped up to maybe even try some stuff like that on my on my um on my synthesizer just because he was doing some great stuff and it looked really really easy for you know movie score stuff so you know it may be something that you guys maybe want to get into i know there's a big market in that right so if you can actually produce um you know have a lot of the soundtrack uh for you know I don't know, even if it's just a budget movie, I mean, it'd be fun getting your name in there, you know? It'd be fun having your name on something like that, you know? And who knows where that could lead you, right? Because there's so many different other avenues to put your music out there and produce your music. It doesn't have to be a pop song or a rock song on the radio. It could be for a movie score. It could be for a jingle. It could be, you know, or anything like that on the radio. So there's 15-second little clips of all kind of cool stuff that you can create on a nice synthesizer. Otherwise, um, you know, you wouldn't be able to do that. And that's what they're using. They're using all these cool workstation synthesizers where you got your loops and your drums and your keyboards and your synths and all these just killer sounds, man. Ah, you know, I'm really surprised. I never, I used to have a Yamaha Motif um, board that I really enjoyed in my other studio, um, but it never really, I never, uh, never dabbled into all those great sounds that you can get 
into the parameters of it. And here's the thing, man, it probably wasn't the, the right board for me anyway. So those synthesizers, man, give you all those cool sounds that you're looking for to actually change the LFOs and all those great sounds that you can get, man. So you can hit a note and it'll stay there. And then you can do all this other stuff over top of it. <clears throat> so I'm stoked. So if it gets here Tuesday, we're going to do the unboxing or Wednesday, we'll do the unboxing show. I'll set it up in real time right here. You guys can uh, see me actually play on it right here. And, uh, I'm just really excited about that, man. Here, look, and I've been staying in that dope attitude about getting it, man, because I'm fired up. I've been so fired up being in the studio and being able to write new music. I actually want to bring this girl in, man. She sings wonderful. I just haven't asked her because I've been building my studio back uh, and, you know, building it up with different gear and uh getting some great things going on i hope you guys aren't hearing a delay in here i might still have <laughs> i might still have my other mic on yeah i have my other mic on anyway um i left it on i was over there writing music tonight man so uh but anyway i've been wanting to ask this chick man uh just to come in and lay some parts down i've been so stoked about doing my own thing man and building the studio up and uh, just haven't haven't seen her again to ask her if she wants to come in. So I want to have a few models, you know, things worked out right before I invite her in. And I do have some stuff I can actually present to her right now. But I need to rehearse it just a little bit more so that I'm, you know, I'm ready to rehearse it and be on fire about it, you know, and get her in here, let her hear me play it and say, okay, try singing this part. I'm going to sing this part or we can do it, you know. Anyway, man, it's going to be freaking fun, and I'm completely stoked about uh, about everything, man. So having her in is going to be an inspiration. Uh, you know, hearing another voice, hearing another musician in your studio is always an inspiration. Because here's the thing. Here's what happens. It's kind of like a, you feed off of each other, right? So I might, I might present to her one thing, and then she comes back and presents something in a different kind of way. And... Uh, expresses it in a different kind of way and i'm like oh man so see how it works two are kind of stronger in one in a lot of ways right so i'm completely stoked about having her in the studio we're going to see where that brings a lot of my tunes man but uh, i'm really really stoked about the idea of building this next album on the synthesizer yeah man because it's just really really cool what you can do with having a synthesizer in your studio, especially like if you're driving everything off of it and you're syncing it up and you're doing MIDI stuff, you're actually bringing it into your uh, doll and using your doll along with the MIDI stuff uh, that you're sending to it. The skies are the day come limit, man. I'm telling you, man. So I've been standing this dope attitude about it because, uh, uh, it's just that's what makes everything go around, right? You know, you got to be fired up and excited about what you're doing to create some great stuff, man. So um, thank you, guys. I want to say thank you. If uh, if you're just now joining, I wanted to say thank you guys for joining in tonight, the Audio Master Show. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, you know what to do, man. Slam that, baby. Give me a thumbs up. And also, man, I wanted to say, uh, you know, hit that share button too, man. A lot of people... Uh, uh, a lot of people enjoy the show, and so they don't even know I've got a, a lot of people know I have the Midnight Special Show. A lot of people don't know I have the Midnight Special Show. So it's just a great little show that I like to do. I found really kind of cool. People like to hang out late at night. I realized I'm not the daggum only lonely night owl bird. <laughs> There's a lot of you guys out there that like to stay up late, man, and get in that dope attitude just like me, man. I like to stay up late and stay in that dope attitude and get excited every time I every time I hit the studio, man. I'm so fired up. And here's the thing about me: I love having guests. I love having guests in the studio. I get more creative when I actually have people in the studio. And it's just uh, like I say, we 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 feed off of each other. It's all about a vibe. It's all about staying in that dope attitude. And, uh, you know, it just, it's kind of like, it kind of makes me think of two people going out and fishing and then nobody's catching anything. And then your partner over there catches one, a nice one. And then you get 
you get stoked about it, man. You start getting pumped up. Oh, okay, well, man, now we're on. Now the fish are in here, and that's my turn. And so, and then you both start catching them, and then, ah, the world's great when you're both catching fish. You know, you're both hammering them down, man, and you're reeling them in, man. The there, you just, everything's just freaking great. Same way in the studio, man. You get in the studio, you start tracking. One person starts doing something that you wouldn't have thought of doing. And get you fired up, man. You're like, okay, man, let me add something to <laughs> let me add something to that, man. Cause here we go, man. We're in the studio, man. So anyway, I don't know, man. I'm just completely fired up about it, man. I'm completely fired up about life. And I'm trying to not trying. I'm staying in that dope attitude and want to encourage you guys to get in that dope attitude, man. Because uh you're just gonna be on fire, man, and you're gonna find your greatness that you're great at and then that you enjoy when you stay in that dope attitude. And like I said earlier, man, if you wake up and you didn't get the phone call that you were wanting and you're wanting something a little, you're expecting something a little different, tear it down, man, and start over, man. Start over with the idea that this is going to be a great day and I'm going to make it a great day. And so uh, things, things can, you can really accomplish a lot of things when you stay in that great attitude and uh you stay in that dope attitude about life and everything else man but i wanted to say thank you guys we're gonna keep it short tonight the midnight special show man we got a lot of great things going on and tomorrow man i've got a lot of great things going on i'm gonna try to get back in the gym do a little working out tomorrow cannot wait to do that and um i don't know we're gonna be doing some, i'll be doing another show tomorrow night it'll probably be around seven between seven and eight o'clock you don't want to miss out on that show. we got some good things we're going to be talking about. Uh, I had another guy write in and says, man, you know, I've seen your last video on Pink Noise. I know you got two of them out there, but can you do another show on Pink Noise? I'm like, okay, man. So if anyway, I might do another show tomorrow night on Pink Noise or whatever and get a little further in depth as to uh, how to bring those tracks up and get a great, great start, a great start with levels and whatnot, because that's imperative whenever you're doing mixing as far as... Um, not having any any of that all that cool effects on anything but just starting out plain jane with your tracks getting a great balance with everything where you can hear everything so we may be doing a show tomorrow night on that and that will answer andy's question not randy but andy and so anyway um we may be doing that so i'm not sure 100 percent, but uh, we will be doing it soon if not tomorrow night Thank you guys for joining in tonight as always. Yes, sir, man. And uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe, nail that puppy, man. And uh, I'm going to get back over here, man, and start writing down some lyrics, man, on this cool song that I'm actually working on. Ah, I love it, man. I want to have Aaron in here, man. It may be one of those tunes, man. It may be a, I hear a trumpet in there. Who knows, man? We just got to get some other people in here, man, that we can collaborate with and start sharing with you guys, man what we're doing in the daggum studio man and how much fun we're having i wanted to say if you haven't playing haven't been playing your instrument get in there get your guitar man pick it up start playing and uh whatever instrument you play or whatever you do if you're a singer get in there start singing if you're a writer start writing those great songs that we can hear and hopefully we'll hear them on the radio soon and get away from this cookie cutter stuff man ah this ooh 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 ee ee ah 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 has got to go man we need some real songs in there about real music and about real songwriting. So thank you guys for joining in. And until, until then, uh, we appreciate each and every one of you. All of you are important to the show as always. So thank you again. And we will see you tomorrow night. <laughs>